Go nowhere. Let's create. Wedding soup. This is a delicious Italian soup. And I was at the store uh, today and I saw some escarole. And as I said, oh, you know, I can make some um, wedding soup today. And, and I also found and bought some ground turkey. You know, I don't like to use ground turkey for almost nothing except when I'm cooking my wedding soup. And I'm going to use shells. You need going to need some of that. Uh, breadcrumbs, you need egg. Some garlic. Uh, you can use water, but I like to use a chicken stock. Make sure you have your extra virgin olive oil. I'll go in Italian. Salt. I'll go Mediterranean here. Uh, ground bell pepper. And of course, you need your sofrito. And sofrito here consists of carrots, chopped, chopped celery, chopped onion, and in these stages of a cook is called batuto. So it becomes sofrito once you start cooking it, once you're creating the base. And depending on the Italian uh, meal or plate that you're preparing, then your sofrito can become, you can add other ingredients to it, such as garlic, thyme, and other herbs like parsley, etc. So I have here the ground turkey. Let me start by adding an egg. I'm going to simplify things, by the way. I'm going to add some of the garlic. Things up a little bit. More garlic. Some black pepper. A little bit of salt. Let me do a tiny bit of parsley, dry parsley, and a little bit of thyme, dry thyme. Come to mix things up. And as I mix this, let me put a little bit of, um, of the breading, breadcrumbs. Let me mix things up. If it's still too uh, mushy, add a little bit more breadcrumbs. You don't want it mushy. And the egg is good because the egg keeps things together. This will do. So use about a cup of breadcrumbs. And mix this well, but not well enough that it gets mushy, okay? Let me create some of the meatballs. And I'm going to go very small, you know, like, actually small. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to create several small meatballs. And then uh, turkey balls or whatever you want to call it. So I had the oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put a little, and I have a pan for the oven, aluminum foil. Just going to put a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Push that in. And I'm going to place my meatballs here. You can have them very tiny. And if you want to, you can have them about an inch in diameter, which is a little bit bigger. I have both sides, because I don't care. Make sure they're not touching. 
because you don't want it sticking together. And you're going to put it in the oven, medium high. Got a pot, extra virgin olive oil. Going to preheat it for a few seconds. Going to start with the onions. Medium high. And I'm going to do this for about maybe a minute. Sorry. What I'm doing here is this sofrito. You know what? Let me put the carrots too. Let me do this for a minute. Get this sofrito. So it was a butoco, now it becomes a sofrito. I'm to add some of the garlic. For this particular sofrito, this should be sufficient, but I wanted to add, add a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit more stuff for more aromatic. So that means garlic, thyme, parsley, Italian parsley. Going to reduce the heat a couple notches below medium. And I'm going to let this go for about seven minutes. Five minutes will be sufficient. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. See? It's been about seven minutes. Five, seven minutes. And this has been about maybe nine, 10 minutes. Let me let it go for another four or five minutes. Doesn't have to be fully cooked. I just want it to be a little bit solid. In the meantime, I'm going to add some chicken broth. That's three cups here. Four. And actually, I'm going to make it a little bit more than four. Let's make it maybe six cups for the amount of uh, meatballs I have. I have about 35 meatballs. And at the same time, I'm doing my elbows. In essence, I put them in water. I have about maybe two cups, maybe a little bit less. Use some extra virgin olive oil so they don't stick together. And I'm going to let them cook while this water gets, let like the stock gets hot and stuff. So let me add a couple more cups of stock, okay? So added an extra two cups, going to give it a taste. Tastes good, but I need more salt for my taste. Little bit for me, might not be a little bit for you. It's to your taste. Increase the heat of this to a couple notches about medium. And I'm going to let it go here for about seven minutes. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to get them out. Now I'm going to add the meatballs and create that wedding. I'm going to marry them. I'm going to marry them. And I'm going to marry them. I call it marriage. That's what it's a wedding, right? I'm going to do this wedding. Let's say for about five minutes. About four or five minutes later, now you're going to add the escarole. If you don't have escarole, go with baby spinach. 
I'm going to let this go for maybe four or five minutes, okay? Notice that I did the pasta separately. Uh, I do that with noodles when I'm doing um, ramen food, uh, soup, the Japanese soup, food, uh, soup. So, because I like to have things separate, that, that way it doesn't become messy. Pasta can get messy. So let me leave this alone for about five minutes. Be mm -hmm. 